I have a 401k at work that offers both a pre-tax and Roth option. What is the difference and which one should I invest in? Great question, relevant to all of us with company retirement plans, all of us with access to IRAs. How do we decide between the traditional and the Roth option? So here's my answer. When we talk about traditional versus Roth, we are talking about an account's tax status. Both of these accounts are retirement accounts, which means that they will grow tax deferred, but they also have special tax benefits in the form of tax breaks. Now, when you get those tax breaks is the main difference between a pre-tax, traditional, and a Roth. I want to make this very clear before we move on. Pre-tax and Roth refer to the type of account that you're investing in, the tax status of that account. It doesn't mean that that is the actual investment that you are investing money into. Money may be in that account, but you still need to allocate it to a particular investment or group of investments. For help on how to approach investing, watch this video. So pre-tax and Roth refer to when you get a tax break, but how does it actually work? An easy way that I get clients to remember this is through the example of the farmer and their harvest. Now imagine that you're a farmer and you're planting seeds with the hopes that down the line, it will grow into a bountiful harvest that is going to help sustain you and your family. This is very, very similar to investing in which we plant seeds right now with the hopes that that will be enough to support ourselves and live on in retirement. So in this example, when we look at pre-tax, pre-tax would give us a tax break on the seeds that we plant right now. We're getting a tax break on the seeds that we plant right now. It grows tax deferred. And once that grows into a harvest and we get to retirement age, all of that harvest is going to be 100% taxable. So again, tax break on the seed now and getting a tax on the harvest, all of the harvest later on in retirement. In this example for Roth, Roth would refer to the fact that you don't get a tax break on the seed now. It also grows tax deferred because it is a retirement account. But in retirement, when you have that full harvest, all of that harvest, 100% of it, is going to be tax-free. So Roth refers to no tax break on the seed now, but a 100% tax-free harvest later on in retirement. So I hope that example cleared it up. And essentially, what you're trying to decide on is if you want a tax break now versus a tax break later on in life. A tax break on the seed versus a tax break on the harvest. So now that we understand the differences which one should I invest in? Which one should I choose? As always, it depends. It depends on if you think your taxes in retirement will be higher or lower than they are right now. And here's the thing. No one has a crystal ball. No one knows what tax rates will be in the future. We can make guesses. We can make educated guesses, but no one knows with certainty. An important thing to remember, this is not an all or nothing decision. Certainly you can decide to do one or the other, but many people and many strategies, many financial advisors like myself want our clients to have the benefits of both. So we say that taking advantage of both accounts can actually be more beneficial than choosing one or the other. We've all heard about diversifying our investments. Why not diversify your tax liability? And one last thing that I always want to note in these types of videos, what works for one household, one person may not work for you and your household. Everybody's situation is different and unique, and you need personalized advice that will help you and your family get the best advice for yourselves. At the end of the day, these choices and decisions need to be made based on your full financial context and what you're trying to accomplish. It shouldn't involve what other people are doing because their situation is different and it doesn't pertain to you.